G'day and welcome back for more assertive acquisitions. Or TFE's green thing. It's lime flavored. Yeah. I feel like it's slime fa flavored. I'm just it's it's, it slime may, flavored. It may also be slime favored. Hmm. Are you favored by uh, big slime? But I sponsored by some sort of energy drink. Uh, yes. I mean, it is sort of an energy drink. Corrosive and green sounds like an energy drink to me. Well, I was I was more thinking about like the royal slime. 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 I was thinking of slime. I made some on a stream one time. I know you gave some of it to me. Oh yeah, that's true. That was that was that was the before the overly times. sweet. <laughs> well, as you'd expect. Yes. So, I've been doing some thinking. Oh and... dear, we're in trouble. Run! <laughs> I have a, I have an idea on a method to make my missiles a lot simpler to launch. One this does the... sound like a horrifying idea. Why is there a... Wait, is my suit doing that? There's like a green dot in your middle of your helmet when you were staying over there. Yeah, probably because it was reflecting all the green. Hmm. You, your helmet doesn't reflect anything. It's covered in lava. Yeah, you can't see what I'm thinking. Do it. I'm not sure I want to. <laughs> anyway, on to the launching of the explosive devices. The idea I have was, at the moment, the way that I've been launching them is I'm using a timer block and I'm triggering that timer block manually. So anytime I trigger that timer block, a whole bunch of events have to happen. What I was thinking of doing instead is actually having an event controller that is waiting for a signal from a of the connector being disconnected. So on the event of the connector being disconnected, it'll then start all of the things that need to happen. And the reason I think that's going to be a bit more reliable is because I should be able to have better control or more certain control over the state of blocks while they're still connected to the ship. Uh, I should be able to turn on all the AI blocks and do all that sort of stuff. And then the lock, like the missiles can even get a lock before we launch them. Which should make them more likely to hit the target at the same time. And not just go flying off into the abyss. Yeah. So I was going to work on that. And once I've got a single volley of missiles ready to go... I thought we could just use the green thing as um, drone bait, go up against an enemy, launch the missiles. If they obliterate the enemy, victory. If they don't, we come back to the carrier. I keep working on them. You guys do whatever you're doing. And then we try again. But I, I don't want to try and capture a thing if my missiles haven't worked. I just want to come back to the drawing board and work through them and fix them again. So basically, I want to keep launching them because I need this to be a functional blueprint so I can start putting, like, this apparatus into the carrier so the carrier can launch these. Because once the carrier can launch these, we could potentially make it so it's semi-automated that the carrier launches these. We want you to give the AI even more control to kill us. Well, hopefully not kill us. But yeah, that, that's where I'm at. And one uh, of them what are you guys going to do? You can make a robot butler. No, I want one of the missiles to be my robot butler. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. They're too big. What, are you going to have a cheese and hand grenade sandwich? Ooh. That sounds good. It's a blast of flavour. Uh, I was working on making the green thing heavy armour because um, light armour did not stand up to combat conditions very well. <laughs> hmm. Speaking of which, we seem to have lost some heavy armour on the old... Uh... Schnoz over here. Well, Actually, dense, so you probably want to move. Armor. Probably want to move the saffron off my um, oh, oh, armor plates on the top. There's off the green thing. Oh. Yeah, all right. I'll move the saffron. Jeez. Because probably I'll forget it's there and somehow miss it when I go to dock and just yeah, slam it into the. <laughs> I know the green thing is vertical, and I still keep approaching it as though it's horizontal. What? What is happening? Are you confused? Um, magic. What is going? 
Mm. The, um, the event controller was showing its own grid's connector in orange, like it's a subgrid. Um, that's not weird. good. Real weird. Anyway, uh, so things I need to do. I need this to be set up as it would be when it's locked. I need to clear everything from this. Uh, reset the whole thing up. I'm going completely from scratch with this. What, the um, is it nuclear powered bus? No, the nuclear powered bus is not having anything done with it. That, well, that is also starting from scratch. But that I'm going to do something very different with that, and I need to make some changes to the corridors to make that function better. Interesting um, decision to redesign the <laughs> building around the vehicle rather than the other way around. Well, the reason for that is that having the catwalks in the way is something that's fixable and was causing a problem. What on earth is Kappa up to? Yeah, what are you up to, Kevin? Uh, I'm working on releasing these assertive thrusters from the ship we captured. Oh, good call. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do with this big one. I guess we could put it on the big ship. Yeah. Not sure where. Uh, I have an idea. Oh, we could put it on the roof where I put that thruster before. Um... So, Kabak, if you look at the back here, these two down the bottom, we could probably put it in there. We could probably, because there's armor on, well, for each one of them on two sides. Yeah, that's boring. But it does mean we'll need to find another one at some point. The thrusters that need to be overridden start with an override set. When the connector disconnects, I want all of the thrusters to turn on. I want the batteries to turn off recharge and go on to auto. I want the stockpile to turn off on the tanks. I want the sensor to turn on. I want the antenna to turn on. I want the exhaust pipe to turn on. And I want the AI control blocks to turn on and then to turn their AI behavior on. The, I've set that up even though the blueprint will have those things on already some of them but just I'm, just, I'm just doubling up just in case something goes funny with the blueprint that should be everything then i've just got to set up the actual launch apparatus so that so that it's in control of the merge blocks and the connectors rather than me having to connect control anything aboard the missile because it means then i've got a much easier way of controlling which one i'm launching because i just have to name things on the parent grid properly and set them up on my hotbars properly so that should be all good. And then I just make a blueprint of this, and we have a test bed. The assertive thruster is in place. Oh, you you actually did put it in. Cool. We've now got a splash of orange. Well, we've now got a splash of a. We've now got even more. Well. Even more like of the sci-fi thrusters at the back, but now we've got sort of three different types because we've got the warfare ones, the sci-fi ones, and then the hydrogen thrusters. I can be putting a cargo. Oh, it's port switched there, off. Cabin. I'm putting things back the way they were. Oh, was that were there conveyors there? I thought there was armor in the middle. Nope, these were. Uh, there was armor over these pipes. Uh, so are we gonna lug the Valley Crucius to the station? Oh yeah, that was the point. Um, uh, it's more cash prizes. I imagine it'd be worth quite a bit. Let's wait until after we do the the missile tests. This next missile test, at least. Oh, you want to use this as a target for the missile tests? I see. I, I wasn't thinking that, because remember how much trouble we had actually getting it to be like anything to be a target. Hmm. No. It sounds more like a you problem. Do you want to be a target? It was I mean, last second. If it's if it's your missiles trying to hit me, I'll take those odds. <laughs> wow. So mean. I mean, he does have a point. If I can have a look at what I'm doing. Uh what Pretty are you just, doing? I'm just replacing the light armor with heavy, because um it did not stand up very well in under combat conditions. Ah, uh, yeah. Speaking of combat conditions, there's a skippy out there. That seems like a perfect target to test missiles on because it's only got small caliber weapons. Okay, so what's the attack plan? The attack plan is TFE 
protects. Finish, finishes armoring up the ship so it's not exposed to the in outside. You, no, no, no. You're just shooting some drones. It'll be fine. I know, but I can just quickly finish. No, like, it's already, the skippy's there. It'll disappear if you take your time. And I'm serious that my cockpit is basically exposed to All space. Right. Well, let, let him keep armoring while you continue with telling me what the plan is. Actually, Kabak, we could probably just go with us, us two in the schnoz. Yeah. Right, well. We don't need no TFE. I'm a board. Oh, I want to see how bad that you two do without me. Uh, no. Hmm. Why uh, don't I have any oxygen in my oxygen bottle? Did you breathe at all? <laughs> well, I assume that's what happened. Could explain it. Maybe. Oh, I hope some of these don't have an old blueprint. I think that's what might have gone go. wrong with some of the previous launches, is that because I had to replace 10 blueprints, I messed up some of the replacements, and some of them didn't get replaced. All right, Kabak, you good to go? I think I'm good to go. Uh, yep. If you want to sever us from the connector. Yep. Done. Hey, I am good to go as well, if you want me to come. <laughs> yeah. Ah, what the? Hang on, hang on, stop, 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 come on. Whoa, 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 I don't know! Help! Ah. <laughs> I don't know what just happened! What is happening? I don't even see what's happening because of the sun. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened! There's a, but all, the, all of them have detached and they're all on fire and they're all floating away. Um, yep. someone didn't set up their hot bars correctly. I... I... I don't even... I don't, I don't even know where to start. I don't understand. This is a great leap backwards. Oh. Yep, this is another successful missile test presented to you by Splitzy. I mean, it's <laughs> I mean, it's adding more to the minefield. <laughs> what the heck happened? Off they go into the distance. I don't understand. The missiles head north for the winter. Why did that not work? I mean, it did work. They all launched. No, they did. <laughs> they didn't wow. actually launch properly. Wait, are they just drifting away? Yeah. Ah, oh, they're not even. Yeah, I think they're just on the momentum that I had from taking off. Well, they're waiting for enemies. At least I can check to see. Okay, so my thrust overrides are all off, so they're that's fine. They're just looking for enemies at the moment. Stockpiles off. But they- Oh, they have no fuel! Um, Wait, they're flat? Yeah. Okay. Um... Abort mission, or are we still going? No, 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 the mission abort. Uh, Kabak, okay. would you mind driving me nearer to some of those so I can get some of the components back? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, well, because they've got a lot of- They've got a lot of explosives on board. We kind of need them back. Because TFE doesn't magnesium. have a magnesium source. Am I going to go and find one? That might be a bad idea. Or we can go to the... Go to the oh, um, we could trade... buy some, yeah. We can go to the trade station and buy some. Suit upgrades will never happen. <laughs> We're too busy spending the money on other stuff. Potentially. I don't know why they all clanged out. That's the thing that I'm still perplexed by. Did they all have, like, their gyros on override or something? No, they don't. No, no. So, what happened was... When I, um, when I disconnected the merge blocks, they behaved as though I disconnected the connectors. It seemed like the event controller triggered itself when that happened. Which is weird, because it shouldn't. Um, so I might just have to do a test with a single missile now, rather than multiple. This multiple yeah, seems to that be... that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, it's kind of an overreach, isn't it? Alright, take us home, Kapak. Um, and we'll, uh... We'll have to just pick a target and 
At least if I can confirm that the missiles are tracking properly and launching properly, then we can... Then I can work on launching multiples and we can do that stuff, but we just need to test that it is launching properly. <sighs> it's such a complicated task. I wish there was an easier way of doing this. Having Capac steer them all. There's something smoking inside the schnoz. Um, With the amount of combat it's seen, yeah. I'm not surprised. Oh, what just happened? Oh, I think I know where it is too. <laughs> it's hidden behind the wall. Just got... hmm. I don't even know what's down there. Do we have a battery? Yeah, there's a battery that's um, busted. Alright, so they're locked. They should now be getting fuel. What's going to happen if I turn off this merge block? Why Everything catches that? fire. Simple. Really is like me with my sound setup. <laughs> I don't... I'm trying to think of a way to get around this that's not going to be... That's, that, that's reliable. Do you want me to bring you a fire extinguisher? <laughs> uh, no. That's a bad choice in skin. Not that one. Um, or nothing. So have you solved it yet? No, not at, not at all. Oh, it's even worse than I thought. Oh, good. The event controllers from one missile are triggering... Tri triggering? Triggering. <laughs> triggering. <laughs> the event controller of one missile is triggering all of them. That's why we got the clang. One of them triggered every single one. So the event okay. controllers just... I don't think they can be used for this. They're, they're activating stuff across multiple grids. Oh, I think I know what was going wrong. You know how I said I think there's a connector that's being picked up as a subgrid? All the different ships shooting at the... <laughs> remember, that, remember how I said... definitely a thing you... Possibly could have said at some point, yeah. Because the color of the connector showed up in the available blocks as a subgrid color. Uh, that's, I reckon that's messed with everything. Okay. So I reckon that's why it's working across subgrids and doing really weird stuff. Okay, let's try this. Switch lock on the connector. Merge block. Oh, no! It's still dark. Uh oh. Oh, that's bad. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Why is part of the carrier on fire? Because the missile just went straight into one of the main thrusters. It somehow missed the assert thruster. <laughs> and. I, lucky. Uh, I. I think the luckiest is part is that it didn't sever the umbilical. <laughs> Everything else just. Oh, it nearly did. Yeah, um, it looks like it's conveyor pipes at thirty-five percent integrity. Yep, it's lucky that the war the warheads didn't actually explode. That was entirely kinetic. Well, Splitsy's clearly affected his missiles. Shut up! Shut They're up! They're actually attacking <laughs> large ships now, which is a good sign. Uh oh. Oh uh, what? Oh wait, the Thunderbird and the light freighter. Oh. They're attacking each other? Oh. Uh, Six kilometers away. We better be oh. careful that we... There's oh, they've brights. caught in a fight, Bright. Oh. We better be careful not to get caught in the mm. crossfire here. Well, they're moving away from us. But... Yeah. Uh, the Thumberbird isn't. What? It's closing on us rapidly. Uh-oh. The fight, Bright, is closing on the light freighter. Um, where is the Thumberbird going? It might just well, be it's, continuing on its flight path. Yeah, it's going away from the Light Freighter. Unless it's going for that Corvus Prime. Oh, the. Oh, the, f <laughs> the Fight Bright seems to have won that battle. Yeah. And he's closing rapidly on us now. That's no, going a different way. Oh, it is too. Wait, is it heading for. It's still fighting. It is, is it still chasing the other thing? And it's just it might have just, might have just taken out its broadcast. Oh, wait, you can't see it. Yeah, it's too far away for us to see any of the battle. The uh, Thumberbird's within 4Ks. Yeah. It's it's screaming. It's moving quite quickly. I'm really worried about that fight, Bright. Um, TFE, you might want to be ready to press the jump button. Yeah. Yep. 
You want to be ready to press the jump button. Oh no. Go, 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 go. Ah. My oh, actually, no. Ah. Hang You're on, not... I'll just go. Yeah, just jump, just jump, <laughs> jump, 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 jump. And the green thing's not connected. I don't care. <laughs> Start the jump, jump out, and then grab the green Hang thing. On. You, you have, you have so little time. Oh, I'm going to the cockpit. Oh. Carry on. Oh, why? Hey, locked. Oh. I don't see what you're so worried about. Nothing the fight right is closing on us really rapidly. Oh. Oh, right. That Hang on. I'm getting aboard the Marlin. Uh, we're going to leave the Valley Crucius behind. Yeah. No, Least of our concerns. Jump's being blocked. Well, something exploded. Yeah. We got incoming. I can't jump. The other ship's Incoming rockets. Oh. oh, what is the fight right doing? Uh, whoa! Oh, okay, the fight right's down. The firefly almost hit us. Oh. Apparently, uh, I can't jump because ships are oh, in the wait. way. No, I guess I can guess what it is. What is uh, it? The Marlin got hit the, by a volley Yeah, the of GPS was still set for where we were. Oh. Okay. Quick, Is jump it... to our current location. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you need well, to blind jump in those scenarios. <laughs> well, we're alive. Yes. We are. Did any damage of um, note? I occur? think the top of my Marlin is um, in interesting condition. Oh, yeah, it took a little bit of a battering there, didn't it? Yeah. Chewed up a few Apparently rockets. it locked onto me specifically, judging by where it was firing. Well, I did start moving us forward, uh, and I was rotating. Uh, but yeah, I think the thing that needs to change for Ooh. me in these scenarios is when bad guys come, I run to the cockpit of the Skywall. That's that. That's got to be my mindset now. It's been ah. it's been sitting and inert for so long that I hadn't thought that it's a thing I actually need to do. Luckily, it appears my solar panels absorb most of the explosion. <laughs> yeah, the rest of it's surprisingly intact. Was it rockets you got hit with? I think it was, but yeah, yeah. It, seemed, it seemed to have hit the solar panels and not much else. Who knew that solar panels were good at stopping explosives? <laughs> solar panels are good at everything. Hey, get back. Do you want to have a... Do you want, uh, can we... Can we go over to that Quasimodo? Uh, sure. You just got attacked and you want to go and annoy them more. <laughs> We just got attacked, so I'd really like to be able to launch a salvo of missiles from the ca from the Skywall. Still keep calling it the carrier. I need to break that habit. If his ship is still making me want something lime flavored. All right, I'm in the Schnoz, ready to detach. All right, detached. What's the target? Okay, so move to about 2.2 k's out from the Quasimodo. Okay, coming about, heading directly for the sun. 2.6, 2.5. Okay, it should it should get a lock in 20 seconds. 2.4. So if you just stay within two and a half k's, this should establish a lock. 2.3. I've got. got We've got targets incoming. Indicator. Are we still okay? Uh, we're still okay. We're at 2.26. All right, target is locked. And, in theory, missile should be away. Okay, see missile. Looks like it's headed for target. Yep, it's headed on target. It's gonna be interesting to watch. Have you got a camera view of it, Kamek? Nope. Do you want to grab the spotlight and see if you can watch this? Uh, that's right. I have view of it. View. Oh, we got drones incoming. Oh, it hit, I think. Oh, yep, drones incoming. All right, that's all That's all I had, Kamak, so you can head back. Let's uh, check out this drone. All right, I think I'll be watching. I think I'm going to try and watch from uh, cameras on board rather than camera on board the missile. Just can't see enough. Camera gets taken out too early. Uh, I think the drone's headed for the carrier. Uh, looks like it. Incoming fruit oh fly TFE. No, my mom's getting shot again. Sorry. 
Oh no, it's focused on me specifically. <laughs> Why's it done that? Okay. A moderately successful launch. Still got to figure out why my overrides aren't persisting with the blueprint, but that was a moderately successful launch. That's a step in the right direction. Are you killing this fruit fly? I'm trying to, but it keeps flying away from me. I get close to it. Come on, you might want to bring us in closer so that we can take it. See if we can make it explode right in front of TV. Oh, that just slammed into me. Can you fly a bit away from the carrier, or perhaps towards us? In the shores? <laughs> Our guns will handle it. It hasn't got any weapons, that's why the base is firing. Just, just adding your rifle to the mix, aren't you, TFA? I mean, it seems as roughly as effective. <laughs> yeah, the Gatlings aren't doing a great job of hitting this thing. Are yeah, we getting out? <laughs> yeah, they're really not. I think it's possibly because we're moving and it's moving and... There can't be much of it left. Have we even hit it? I don't think so. I saw bits coming off it. Oh. There we go. Nice explosion then. Okay, cool. Alright. Uh, alright. Yes? Question mark? Uh, some, somewhat. Somewhat. Other than the Marlin getting shot again, I think. I, I <laughs> I think on the next test, uh, TFE, if you green things ready to combat, uh, maybe you should come along. Yeah. Yeah. But I should have a, I should be ready for the next test shortly. So I'm just going to check over the thrusters for the launch and see what was going on there. And then I'll print two this time and I'll launch them simultaneously once they both have a lock on the enemy. And see if we get a more, uh, see if we get a better confirmation of a hit. All right. Um... Hey, uh, you two ready to do another another attempt? There's uh, a gnat yep. out there, which should be a good target. Three kilometers. Okay. Side 2.5, I'll start waiting to see when the AI blocks have got a lock. 2.7. got a lock, I'll launch. 2.6. 2.5. Okay. 2.4. Should be in about 10 seconds. Okay, that one's locked. Two kilometers. And that's locked. All right. Launching missile, salvo, and... Uh... Um, we're getting almost within turret range of the thing. Okay, launching in... Oh, why not? Launching in three, two, one, Ace wasp on our launch. 10. I'm on it. Missiles away. Yep. Go. Tracking. Oh, no. Camera. Camera turns to front of you. <laughs> what? I can't. Oh, we're taking fire. Yeah, the drone's firing on you. Looks like the Kaboom tube might have missed the gnat. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh it's no. a explosion. Oh, I can't use a turret to view stuff because as soon as Kavak has to change his angle, I completely lose my tracking. I think it, it looks like it's lost the antenna, but it's circling around the net. Something next to it. Yeah. The net's taking damage or not? Oh, uh, yeah, the net's shooting the drone. Okay, so lesson to be learned from this is um, next time, Capac, I might need you to remain as stationary as possible so I can actually watch the missile and see what it does. Uh, it's not really an option in a combat situation. It's going to have to be. That's why you've got heavy armor. And that's why TFE's here to take out the drones. Hmm. Uh, so we boring this thing? Are we capturing it? Destroying it? I think uh, that missile's been we disabled. I mean, I'm basically asking, do I want to use the assault cans or not? Go on, you can use them. Hey, Kabak, you want to stop boosting? <laughs> boosting towards it. No, I can't see anything when you do that. <laughs> oh, got a bit too close.
Oh, you got a drone coming in. Nice wasp. Oh, I saw an explosion on the net. Yeah, why are we in range of the net? Why not? How about some piloting? Um, oh, you've got something following you, TFE. That's probably the remains of a drone. I think the net might be disarmed because my assault can currents aren't shooting it. Maybe... It's trying to get away. I oh. reckon... I'm not sh I There's some damage to that net that I don't think your assault cannons did. Yeah, I think the missiles definitely did some. I think one of them hit. Are the drone's still circling. I feel like we may have approached the capture ship in the wrong way. We thought you we mean... should go for a really big ship to do the capture. I wonder if we should have gone small to start slowing it down. There we go. I mean, I could stick a mag plate instead of the camera on the front of my ship. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, small grid. Oh. Wouldn't that just get annihilated uh, the second? More drones? Oh, yeah. See them. Well, if we don't normally send in the capture ship while the thing is armed. We send it in after we've cleared it. Whoa, what the? What just happened? What? Ah, why do I see fire? What? Where even are you? What the? Okay, there's a thruster. Wait, did? I think the drone smashed into us. Oh, and you didn't notice? Yeah, but you're like one and a half k's away from the thing that you're supposed to be collecting. Uh, yeah, and there's also a hole in the side of my ship, and bits of drone inside it. Oh, that would seem to suggest there was a collision. It would. Oh, well, I've got the gnat. Right, I'm on Unfortunately, my way. it's now also ours. It's no longer suitable for target practice. Why not? You managed to hit our ship last time. <laughs> it's fine, this drone that's derping around will hit it. You two just gonna crash into each other. Well, I can't see what's happening! <laughs> Also, also I'm Got going it. to pick up this thing and Splitsy's just flying off. Well, I was, the, I was getting the drone. The drone. Mm. Ramming oh. maneuver. You want to just fly it back to base then? I can if you want me to. Well, I mean, it seems like it flies just fine. Yeah, it has all directions of thrust somehow. The gyro is a bit on the weak side, but it still goes all right because it's kind of small. I'll admit, the ramming maneuver was fun. I'm surprised I actually hit too. And I'm surprised I didn't kill myself since I'm right at the front of this. I didn't think that far through. I think my brain's gone and it's turned into a, well, I don't know. Well, you're suffering Swiss the effects cheese. of microgravity. You've been in space too long. I think I'm suffering the effects of trying to get a an idea to work that just doesn't want to. brain strain the idea of these missiles is, is great but they just move too slowly so the the guns just destroy them before they get close which means you need like stupendous numbers of them yeah and then they probably crash into each other or oh, we need to launch them at point blank range <laughs> what just throw them out the window <laughs> well my missiles launched Engaged their damage. target, and then we captured that that target. They contributed. Yeah, and my ship was only half destroyed. Um, why is there a military mine layer that's apparently scanning us? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe he's upset that we're trying to steal his job of making minefields, or he's trying to steal our our um, secrets. Do you want a book of Tahan for your library, TFE? Sure. I've never yeah. seen a cargo ship get that close to us before. It's very close, isn't it? Mmm. Do we trust it? Well, I mean, it's neutral. Attack! It's a military mine layer. Don't want them laying mines around us. What? Maybe we what do? If they're happiness mines. Oh, jeez, you did take a pounding there, didn't you? Yep. Huh. You didn't lose a thruster though, so that's good. So I've got a missile design that is tracking enemies, it's launching, it's engaging the enemies, it, it's exploding when it hits them, but 
our enemies seem to have fairly good point defense, which is making the missiles of limited utility. Hmm. What if we put anti-point defense point defense on the missiles? <laughs> what, put interior turrets on the... Well, my thought, my thinking was, we try one more salvo, and this time I'll say launch six of them. And if six isn't enough, then I think we have to accept that this method doesn't work. And the other method I had that... Is what, one big missile? No. Like a really small, large, good missile? No, it was basically turning them into intercept drones. Giving them a Gatling gun. Oh, to basically shoot down all the drones that turn up? No. They'll go no. after the big grid. The idea no, is instead of, instead of trying to explode when they collide with their target, they'll just keep trying to shoot it. Wait, why don't... But if we do that, I may as well just put turret, more turrets on our own ships, because that'll be less wasteful. Why don't you put rockets on them so that the missiles fire rockets? <laughs> uh, I like your thinking, Capac. It'll be the last thing they expect. Yep. And now that's got me thinking if I could fit a railgun to this thing. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if there's anything else I want to add to the green thing or I'll just end up making it worse. Make kind it worse. Recently Make it worse. No. Reasonably compact and it does what it needs to do. Yeah. You could add some not entirely green paint on it. To, to yeah, some but it's like every color I'm like, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, I think it's because we've always got the problem that your thrusters add a color. So you've got blue and green currently. And orange. So if you add a third color. But I've got orange as you've well. You've got orange as well. Ones, yeah. Exactly. So one of the reasons that adding another yeah. color doesn't work is because then you've basically just got a messy um, rainbow. So you go for a non-saturated option. Not sure how I feel about that. Or um, you go for somewhere between white and black. Somewhere grey. That's what I just said. <laughs> That's completely unsaturated. I thought you were meaning like a pastel. I said non-saturated. I thought you said unsaturated. No, I said polyunsaturated. Why are we talking about fats in food anyway? Uh, you guys want to give the missiles their one last hurrah, see if they actually work, and if yeah. they don't, then um, do it. I'm gonna scrap them all together. Uh, sure. I'm just flying through the big hole in the side of my ship. <laughs> You're always so good at making out like things are so bad. They are. Sometimes they are. <laughs> This is the worst space expedition I've ever been on. That's not true. I mean, it's an omni shambles. On? I've been on a few expeditions hey, in my day. You went on an expedition to the moon and ended up trapped underground. That, surely that was worse. Hmm. I mean, at least gravity didn't keep changing directions. Yeah, it did. That hammerhead's very close. Yep. That, well, that makes it easy to get to. Oh, I hope. I hope these at least do something. Three kilometers. I like it. It's it's going from why aren't you working to please do something. Well, because it, it, they are working now. That's the problem. Okay. 2.6. I have camera view of the hammerhead. 2.5. Okay. All right. Checking AI. 2.4. Combat blocks. Target lock will be achieved. Already on fire. Of all missiles in 20 seconds. No, no. 2.1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. All targets locked. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Away. Missile's oh. a tracking target. Okay, looks like they're going in. I have a camera drone in position. Oh! Miss, miss, miss. miss. <laughs> All it. missed! Ah! Oh. oh, they're coming oh. back for another pass. Oh, oh that, that was a hit. hit! Oh. 
Oh, oh. they are just barely oh. missing at the front. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh. jeez. <laughs> well, I don't know that there's anything left to salvage. Oh, no, there is a little bit. There is. Drifting. Well, uh -huh. it's not just drifting. One of the thrusters on it is fire, and it's firing guns at something. What? It's still got power? <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. Do you guys think? We do you guys think I should target. continue going and making these missiles, or do I give up? I think we need to use them against a larger target. These search ships just are too small for it to hit. I mean, that, that seemed to go all right, though, with that many of them. Yeah, it did. They are, unfortunately, not a simple, um, not just precise, print it no. and launch it again thing. To do that, I think I'd have to come up with, I'd have to have individual blueprints for each missile. Ugh. <laughs> but something, something's going... So even once I reprint them, the timer blocks that are used to trigger them to launch uh, don't get replaced. Like, don't replace on my hopper. I have to find them each time to re-trigger them to be able to launch the next volley. So I'm having a bunch of weirdness. Uh, but, you know, managed to destroy an entire ship with them, so it's not all yeah. bad. <laughs> I mean, did you destroy it or did it destroy itself? Um, one of my missiles damaged or destroyed the jump drive and caused it to go critical. It might have already been on fire. There's a lot of Yeah, that's there. why they that's why it's so easy to make that one go critical, because they're already damaged. Got the same tumbling problem as we had with the last one of these we tried to capture. Slightly larger chunk of it this time though. I see some lockers. Oh, Ooh. good catch. Nicely done, Capac. Alright, back to base. This oh, is what the Schnoz thing. was built for. Yeah, that and being Swiss cheese. <laughs> is anyone seeing a nat waypoint at the carrier? Yeah, because I took the nat back to the carrier. Ah. Yeah. When we captured. Uh, yeah, but the fact is there's waypoints. I suppose you want to fly over and disable that thruster. Yeah, okay, I can probably do that. I'm just sitting here chilling, not doing much. Oh, there's a gun turret on it. Ah! Now it's... you just get jump scared. No, uh, well, sort of. <laughs> There's a turret here. It's dead. Rapid fire pistol here too. Ooh. Oh. And another, and another, um, data pad saying I'd settle for some O2. You've already got one of those in your library, don't you? Yeah, maybe. I'm, I'm going to make the decision that as fun as the missiles are and as effective as they can be, I'm not going to use them unless we're going up against a static target. All right. Let's go take out that trading post. Dang it, you <laughs> took out a ship before you got into range of the turrets. I'm hoping you'd forget. Well, to be honest, it was, it was complete luck. I just wanted to get access to a cargo container and... <laughs> That was one of the last things on the grid that needed to take control. Progress, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not not the outcome I was look I was hoping for, to be honest. I was very much looking forward to building lots of these missiles and having them function, but we need to find some sort of giant space station. Yeah. Hey, are you saying they aren't the droids you're looking for? <laughs> yeah, they are not the droids I'm looking for. They're for sale if anyone wants them. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think they would work well to defend a static installation or attack a static installation. Yeah, because defending the ships would be coming toward them rather than running away. Exactly, and so the the closing the time it takes to close while they're within turret range is much smaller. So they'd be able to do a lot more damage. They'd be able to close an impact before getting destroyed by the turrets. Oh well. I guess I'll um Abandon the missiles and go back to the idea of just making drones then. Point defense drones. Because mm -hmm. those are useful. Like, all I need to be able to do, in, if we're not going to have missiles which are getting destroyed, I can make drones that are disposable. Instead of having drones that are intended to get back into the hangars, I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll design a drone that 
launches and then immediately puts itself in a patrol route around the carrier. And then we can print another one, launch it out. Print another one, launch it out. Print another one, launch it out. And just have drones around us if we need defense. Mm. Uh, additional defense. And if we jump away with the carrier, the drones will just be left on their own. Yeah, and that's fine. Because we'll just have enough ammunition on board that they can be some good point defense. And I think that's the way I want to go forward with these. I think it'll be a much more I think it'll be much more effective and I think it'll be just as much fun to launch those and just <laughs> basically leave behind this sea of drones plus it'll probably run us out of magnesium just that little bit slower that when we're already out yeah we are pretty much out oh actually we are pretty much out of magnesium uh should we go sell these things and go buy ourselves some magnesium yeah some explosives uh, uh what have we got? We've got the, the Valley Crucis, the Nat, and the Chunky that you just brought back. Uh, we need to get the Assert Thruster off the Nat first. Okay. We, could, we take the Valley Crucis then. Shall I go... Well, why don't we... Uh, that's the only Reverse Thruster on the Nat, so why don't I merge block it to the uh, Valley Crucis first? I'll merge them down, come back, and then I'll bring them back across and you can grab that uh, Assert Thruster. Well... I was going to say just merge it onto this. I'll take the whole lot in one chunk. Yeah, well, I'm starting that process now. Right. I was just meaning if you wanted to get your green machine to come and pick up this Sir Thruster. Yep, yep. I'm going to leave this schnoz here while I get the tugboat. Shuttle Tiderium, what is your cargo destination? Why is the green menace flicking around? Huh? The green menace oh, the is green losing menace its is mind. Freak, it's freaking out again. What the? Oh, oh um, wait, the actual thruster is freaking out. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Seems normal. That, that, that then has to be the best confused TFE noise I have heard. Like, that was great, I understand mate. If that was the, absolutely the ship fantastic. breaking out, but the fact that the mag-plated thruster is also moving is <laughs> what's really confusing me. The Green Menace needs its uh, dampness turned off. Uh, these ships you can need to their it? thrusters off. Yeah, do you want to fix the Green Menace? Well, no. I mean, you've created a perpetual motion machine. Well, so is Splitsy. This conglomerate of wrecks is moving itself. Alright, I fixed the green menace. Where are you? I mean, I'm this? trying to stay lined up on the trade station, but it keeps trying to move away. Alright, I'll just have to fly it like this, I guess. Ow. Let's come back accelerators and <laughs> get on board. Well, I'm going to come along in the saffron so I can use its cargo to bring back some more stuff. Whoa! 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 Whoa. Oh! <laughs> Seems like we didn't take ownership. No, that was shooting at me. <laughs> that did shoot at you. Why is part of you owned by someone else? It, I don't. That doesn't. Uh... That shouldn't no. be possible. No, it's not part of the schnoz. It's part of the. No, those shots just cored the schnoz like an apple. Yeah, but it wasn't Jeez. aiming at the schnoz. I'm pretty sure it was aiming at one of the wrecks. Well, it would have had to have been the thing on the front. Oh my gosh. Like, so well, wait, did you not take ownership of it before and it's just because the angle we approached the turrets didn't shoot it? Well, no, I thought I owned it all. No, because it tried to shoot it through my ship. Oh. Yeah, but the schnoz has everything owned by... No, 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 as in, it was Who trying knows. to shoot that thing that was on the far side of the schnoz. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. One hand stock is now has now been made available for purchase. I guess they saw us going screaming past the station on fire. Probably. Well, I'm about to use them as a backstop. Um... That Quasimodo is at... I was at the base for a second. Signals emerged. Okay, so we're selling this and buying as much, uh, as many explosives as we can, right? Yeah, I presume so. Oh, I found the selling thing. 
How much can we sell these things for? Oh! Plus. Wow! 68 million. Oh, uh, what could have been 69? Uh, is the schnoz still out there to come back? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> wait, so how much have we got now? Um. Didn't we have like 20 or 30 million before? Where do I see how much money I've got? Uh. Inventory. 112 million. I like how you don't have any of it in the faction account, you just keep it all yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So we need to get a research point. Hmm. We have the money, but we need a research point if we're going to get the suit upgrades. Where are we going to find those? Oh, well, I don't know. Well, have to. I guess we'll have to start traveling. Now that the sky warp seems to be. Wait, can we pick up a contract? We could take a contract and do some freight transporting. See if that helps get us somewhere. Oh, the one for four million that requires us to travel four thousand six hundred kilometers. Yeah, it might. Might it? We may run into someone that like knows where the research is, or maybe we'll. I don't know. Find something. Why is the reputation gain for that? Mission? Uh, be because oh, the, other ones, the, the, the other ones are extreme risk cargoes who will need an arm ship. Oh. Apparently is what it is that the other ones are just normal deliveries. The bottom and top one are extreme risk, high risk. I think I'm allergic to all this work you're talking about. Oh, Kabak, you're allergic to causing explosions? Mm, well, that's, that's not really work. Okay, so I have a I have a plan. I have a plan. We need to discover where we can get these research points from. We need to travel around a bit to do so. So we may as well get paid for the travel, right? Yeah. So my thinking is, the schnoz is heavily armored, but lightly armed. It has a small amount of cargo on it as well, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, but it does need some repairs. Yeah. So what I was thinking is, we grab whatever we can in terms of the explosives that are available here now load up the schnoz with them, take them back to the base, repair the schnoz, then we come back here with the schnoz and the green thing, and I can hop in a saffron if I can find one that's actually not got a busted uh, conveyor system, because the one I'm flying seems to never rearm itself, which is really annoying. <laughs> Although it could be because we're out of magnesium. Um, so we'll go schnoz, saffron, and green thing. And then we start taking on these combat missions and some of these, because they're quite close. They're all things that shouldn't need full on, um, uh, that shouldn't need jump drives. Mm. What do you guys think? Sure. Yeah. We'll do that and we'll see if we can find ourselves any possible ways of finding these research points or any clues towards them. Because, yeah. Um, I'm at a loss. I think that's the first time you have saluted Admirable McSplixington. Um, it's never been a Tron. Play. No Tron. Get back, you buzzed that wasp. Uh, in close to it. Yeah, it'll be fine. We should do the long range mission first, do the jumps, and then start exploring that new area that we get to. Yeah, we can do that. That's how we should do it. 4,800 something kilometers, I think. Yeah, yeah. Which unfortunately means we won't have a location for the uranium and stuff, so it's probably not a bad idea, Tiff, if you mine a little bit before we go. Mm. Like gold and uranium. Otherwise, we'll have to go hunting for it again. Oh, I overshot a little bit. Yeah, we've got to check if there's any damage to anything, if that quasi motto got closer than we thought. I mean, there's the existing damage to the Marlin, and that's all I can see. What existing damage? There's damage on the bottom side of the Marlin. Um, I will investigate this damage. <laughs> okay, disassembling all these explosives, getting some magnesium. Wait a second. That happened a long time ago. Wait a second. What? <laughs> oh, I can't believe I forgot this was here. So... 
a while back, I was like, hey, look, Capac put the first toilet on the ship. Nope. Yeah. Been a toilet on the bridge all along. Hey, before we had the bun up in the med bay. Medical room. Yeah. Before this ship was just a gleam in Splitsy's eye. It was a very large that toilet. toilet was there. It was more like a yes. speck of dust. Yes. Speck of dust in my eye. Or a piece of timber. <laughs> I need to update this uh, blueprint that's on here. All right. Well, next time, we've got a whole bunch of things to do. Mm. We've gotten our first large assertive thruster onto the carrier. We've got a, f a fairly effective green thing, which I'm guessing at some point you're going to give it a name other than that, or are we going to have the green menace and the green thing as two of our ships? Hmm. <laughs> Slowly everything will become a green thing. Hey, no, it's never! Green, it's green Skywarp will not be green! It's got an exclamation mark. That makes it different. Uh, sure. I forget what the name of the green one is. Uh, next time we will attempt to repair the schnoz so it can become our heavily armoured cargo transport vehicle with TFE and I acting as escorts for any hostiles that might come along our way as we attempt to find these research things which we will hopefully discover the location of at some point. Slash hopefully don't have to steal but if we do, oh well, wouldn't be the first time. There's all that and plenty more to come, and we will see you then. Catch you next time, everybody. Bye. Whee. Off to the med bay we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, acid storm. What? <laughs> what the? How did you kill me? <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I was still recording. Do you know what? Do you know what, TFE? You deserved that. You what? shut the door before you waited for Capac to come in the airlock. Because he was distracted by something else. I assumed he wasn't going. <sighs> I'm down to 42 health from that. I feel fine. <laughs> <laughs>